Hello, this is Dr. Hamo, and the case of today is a complication can happen in the cath lab or surprise while doing peripheral cases where you have this large iliac stent beyond or distal to the um, uh, lesion. Of course, since you have the wire already there, which is run through wire, um, uh, you can um, retrieve it or the best option to be able to um, drag it to the um, uh, lesion and uh, deploy it there. In this case, while fixing the renal artery, um, I will explain um, uh, briefly how that happened. Left renal artery was um, tight, um, run through, and uh, six of French guide, uh, 2.5 balloon. Stent was um, deployed. And the final results were um, uh, perfect, satisfactory, with nice dye reflux into the aorta. At this point, I stepped out. Uh, the um, uh, tech was taking picture of the femoral artery to close it, and you can see there is no flow in the um, distal to the um, uh, sheath. IA nitroglycerin was given. The sheath was pulled um, uh, one inch. Um, distal and you can see there is tight lesion 80% in the um, uh, external iliac. The plan was to um, wire um, through the sheath with um, uh, run through and then advance the um, uh, 6015 stent directly. However, unfortunately, the um, stent was dislodged and you can see here the lesion, it was dislodged more distal. So the lesion uh, location is uh, here and the stent was dislodged distally. So advanced um, 2.0 coronary balloon through the stent, as you see, then inflated at nominal pressure and dragged the stent to the right location. Here is the stent was um, uh, dragged at uh, nominal or eight atmosphere and dragged from this location down to the right location where is the lesion. The coronary 2O balloon was um, uh, inflated at high atmosphere, then upgraded to 5O balloon, also high atmosphere. And here advanced the stent 6O um, balloon and inflated at 14 atmosphere. And here is the final results.